Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the Nasty Nate channel. Today, I wanted to explain to you something kind of weird, kind of different with these trucks. Yo, before this video starts, make sure you guys click the link below. It's the Nasty Nate Shopify account. You can pick up these stickers and the OG stickers on that website right now. They're four or five bucks a piece. Get them while you can. There's a very limited quantity of these and I will ship them to your door as fast as I possibly can. So check them out right now. Let's get into this video. With the LBZ and newer, I believe, I don't think you can do this with the LLY or LB7. Um, I wanna explain to you the Hiss versus Rumble Idle. So when you get these trucks tuned, right now this is deleted, five inch straight pipe with an axle dump. Come back here and show you. But when you get these trucks tuned, you can usually ask your tuner to give you the hiss idle or the rumble idle. And I'll play those here in a second. But what you're doing actually, when you're tuning the truck is from zero to 800 RPMs, you are actually changing the turbo vane position. So let me just pop this hood and kind of show you. So on the LBZ trucks, the hot side turbo is going to have veins in it. And actually on the very top where this white wire is, is the vein sensor. So what the veins are, are basically like little fingers inside the turbo and they open and close. And that allows the optimal boost during your different RPMs while you're driving. So by changing that, you're going to change the sound at idle. So I believe when it when you have the rumble idle, they set them to all the way open. So basically there's no there's nothing blocking the air in the turbo and it gives you that LB7 rumble idle sound. So let's play that right now. So I kind of want to show you how this works. Basically, I have the DSP5 switch right here. And when I change from my, my first tune and my second tune have hiss idle. So right now it's in the first tune. I'll go to my second, that's my toe tune, it hasn't changed. My third changes to the rumble idle, fourth and fifth also have the rumble. So change to the third. I'll go back and forth and see if you can hear. Might be kind of hard to hear in the truck, but I'll go give you a walk around of each. We'll go to the hiss. Go hit the rumble idle which is really what i like to drive it in my third tune is only a 60 horse tune so i kind of just leave it in that and i think it sounds nasty. so i really just wanted to give you guys just an overview of the hiss versus rumble idle I know a lot of people talk about it on Facebook and sometimes YouTube and whatever else. There's not always a really good um, description of how it works. So I tried to give an overview of that. I'll set up my camera and do a couple drive-bys right here. See if you can hear the difference of it changing when I get over 800 RPMs. So when I have it in rumble idle, it'll hit 800 RPMs and it'll go back to the exact spot that the turbo vanes need to be to run at you know, a good condition for the boost versus the RPMs. So 
I'll do some drive-bys right here. Should be able to tell a difference. And I think the rumble idle sounds nasty because you get some of that really good whistle out of your turbo and out of your exhaust when you let off of the uh, gas pedals. All right, guys, I hope that answered all your questions for the Hiss versus Rumble Idle. Hopefully you guys think this thing sounded nasty, like the, the way it sounds and the tunes on it. And if you have any other questions about any of that, throw down in the comments right now. If you have any questions about the truck or the channel at all, also throw down in the comments. I'll make a video on whatever you guys want. Before you leave, make sure you check out the NASDNateShopify.com. It's linked down below. Get you some stickers while they last. Very limited quantity. They are sweet. I got these and the OG sticker up on the site. Make sure you subscribe to Nasty Nate and we'll catch you in the next one.